Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the illusion vase that I designed, and basically how it turned from this into this. Um, you know, if you liked the episode, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing new videos each week, and uh, they're all 3D printing and DIY related. Sometimes they're 3D modeling techniques or Photoshop techniques, it all depends, whatever I'm doing that week. Um, but yeah, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel. So anyways, with uh, this illusion vase, I actually designed it two years ago for a competition on my mini factory where you had to design a object in self-cad and then upload to the contest page. And I actually ended up winning with this design. I had a whole bunch of entries for the my mini factory contest. And um, this was the favorite out of everybody, I guess. And uh, it came out great. Um, and basically the reason why I'm making this video is because I had someone contact me recently of how they really liked this vase, but they wanted, um, me to print it larger and then so that it could also hold a bouquet of flowers so i thought okay no problem i could do that but then you know when i started to really think about it i was like if this is hold if this is bigger and holding a bouquet of flowers like i my concern was about how watertight the model was once was it once this was printed because i've had success with these planters with putting soil and uh rocks into there and then putting your uh, flower into it. My concern with it being a bouquet of flowers with uh, a bunch of water inside is maybe it could leak over time. Um, and also with, in this case, I was printing it with wood filament and the wood filament I found is a little bit more porous and um, I just wasn't sure how it would react to the water. If there was this much water being held into it, my concern was it would leak and then uh, damage whatever other decorations they have around like that was the last last thing I wanted to happen so that's why um, basically I went from this design to this design and if you can tell they are slightly modified I had to make this guy I made the opening of the top a little bit wider so that it could fit a glass vase inside of it so basically as an insert um, and I don't have the vase, the glass vase with me, but I was going off of dimensions that she was buying from online. And um, so it could fit a seven by two uh, vase. So as I just mentioned, the this vase here was printed in wood filament. I used the Hatchbox wood filament, um, 1.75 millimeter. And I actually had that roll setting out for quite a while. Like I had it, I bought it maybe like two years ago, that roll and it had just been sitting out. So my concern was moisture and everything getting into it and it wouldn't, I wouldn't have a successful print. So that's why before printing, I would put it into my Sunlu filler dryer so that it would heat it up and dehydrate and get all of that bad stuff out of there to make it a good solid roll to work with. Um, so then yeah, as you can see, there wasn't really any problems with the print. I mean, you got a lot of detail, even like with how fine this pattern was. And that was one thing that was kind of nice that I was happy about that I made it a big print instead of just this little guy is because, I don't know if you can tell with the focus, but the pattern on here is so fine that it actually gets a little, it's a little hard to see because of the layers. The layer height isn't as fine as the pattern. But with the bigger size, you can actually see some depth to the pattern. And um, I'll leave a link in the description for the, uh, both of these models are on my mini factory. I've got it on the same page, just two separate models because one was modified with the, with the larger top versus the original had a skinny top. Um, yeah, and then I'll, I guess I'll throw in a little time lapse of this guy printing out and then um, a time lapse after that of myself modeling it in self CAD.
If you liked the video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a great day.